Remote viewing has evolved tremendously over the years and now we do remote viewing live on video in theatrically interesting ways using whiteboards and green screens and so on to let people see what the remote viewer is actually perceiving as best as possible. In this project, you can actually go with the remote viewers. You can actually watch it. But what's so interesting is when you're watching the remote viewers describe the targets. Something feels embedded in the land. Is it the blocks or something? You know what the target is, but the remote viewers are totally blind. They don't know what the target is. It's got a weird um, barren feel to it. There's something funny about it that I haven't quite got my finger on. So you are actually got this tension saying, my gosh, look at the person describe it, knowing full well that you know what they're supposed to be describing and they don't. Kind of reminds me of uh, Mount Suribachi on Iwo Jima, that kind of that kind of landscape. So from the side, it's a little craggy. It's a beautiful level of theatrical tension and uh, these remote viewers do it extremely well.